Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today I'm gonna do a super quick get ready with me little chit chat while I'm waiting for my hair to dry because I'm testing out two hair products in a different video. Um, if you wanna watch that one, I'll link it up here. Welcome to me with wet hair. I'm actually filming another video where I'm testing two different hair products and I'm letting them sit before I dry my hair. So I thought that would be a great time to do a little quick get ready with me. All right, I'm gonna start with my lotion because I love it and no buy means me using stuff up, but I swear I use this all the time and I can still see that it's full like up to here. It never stops. And I'm gonna use the Joa Truly Yours Foundation. I actually haven't used this one in a while and I always forget how much I like it, but for some reason it gets shifted to the back of my foundation pile, so I'm gonna use it today. All right, so I kinda wanna like ask your guys' opinion on something slash just tell you what I want to do. So I've been kicking around the idea for a while that I want to start a second YouTube channel. Um, and I don't know what I would call it yet. I keep thinking of like the semi crunchy mom, but I don't know if that one works. But what I want to do is basically like, this is my makeup and hair and like beauty channel, but I want to make that channel more about like other parts of my life. Like I'm really into like organic gardening and plants and I like to cook. So I like to have all these great recipes that I'd love to share. Um, and just, you know, things about my family, maybe vlog a little bit. So I was thinking of starting the second channel and gee, I love this foundation. It's a little dark, but it's so nice on. Um, so I was thinking about starting the second channel where I would do that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know, like, would anybody be interested in that? I saw Raw Beauty, Raw Beauty, <laughs> Raw Beauty Christy the other day um, talk about how she's doing that. And I was like, wow, like maybe that's a sign that <laughs> there is interest out there. And maybe I could get into that space too. Um, but she's more like, it's her moving to her life being off the grid and living in a portable way, but it's still a secondary lifestyle channel. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I just think it'd be really fun just to like share other aspects of my life and not always be in this room when I'm filming. Mm -hmm. Could be cool, right? I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I've been using this one a lot lately. I don't know why it's not any better than anything else, but I just been reaching for it more often. Um, so I don't know, what do you guys think? Would you watch that? I'll put a poll up here. Um, let me know if that might be interesting. And I mean, it would be things like, not just like cooking and plants, it would be things like, um, I also make soap at home and, um, you know, weird stuff like that. I don't know. I just think it would be fun um, and maybe, Maybe I don't care if anybody would watch it. Maybe I'll just do it for myself and have kind of a record of what my family was life at, like at this point in our lives. But it just occurred to me because we're gonna be putting our garden in this weekend that it would be really cool to document that process and you know make a couple of videos about it because we're gonna be doing some different like fun things in our garden. This is my usual, all the paints worn off of it on the outside so you can't even see what it is when I hold it up, but it's the LA Girl Cosmetics Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil. Um, I like it because it is very nice and slim and skinny, so it's got good little like stroke patterns you can get. Um, yeah. So it's Mother's Day this weekend. We are going out for lunch with my grandmother and my aunt and uncle and my brother and his wife and their two kids are gonna be here and we're gonna surprise my grandma because she didn't think that they could make it. So we're gonna take grandma to church in the morning and then go out for lunch and my brother and his wife and the kiddos will be there and it'll surprise that, surprise grandma and it's gonna be super cute and fun. Um, so that'll be fun. I love Mother's Day. And I always forget, this is such a weird thing, when Mother's Day comes around, I always forget that like I'm a mother because I'm so used to like, you know, buying cards for my mom and my grandma and my aunt and everybody that I just forget that like I might get a card or two too. <laughs> and actually what we did for Mother's Day last year for my gifts and stuff was we built um, part of our garden. So we got uh, this really cool felt raised bed and all the dirt and we bought all the plants for it. and. That was one of the best 
like coolest gifts I've ever gotten was Mike took me to the garden store and was like, all right, get what you need. Let's get this garden going. Happy Mother's Day. And so it was just a really fun family day and putting everything in and Magnus got to play with the hose and all that stuff. So it was just a really, a really great day. So I think today I'm going to revisit this L'Oreal Enchanted Peach palette. I remember liking it, but it smelled really bad. So let's see if that's still true. Yeah, it's scented, but it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell like, oh, it's Paradise Enchanted. It's not Enchanted Peach. So I'm not, maybe that's an apple. I guess, I guess it could be an apple scent. Whatever it is, it doesn't smell great and I don't love that this is scented, but I did like the colors a lot. I'm gonna try this little pretty pink color up here to start with. All right, here we go. Ooh, that is essentially see-through on my skin. Um, eh, maybe there's a tiny bit of pink there, so we'll see. Yeah, it's just the tiniest like light wash of color. Actually, all right, I can see it a little bit more now. All right, next I think I'll grab this kind of sable color over here and just start the outer V. I'm going to keep it pretty simple today. <sighs> yes, so it'll be a really nice weekend. Love hanging out with my family. My brother and his family are actually going to go, the reason they're going to be in town is they're flying out of Fargo to go visit my parents at their um, snowbird home in Arizona. And take the kids down because they haven't been there yet. So both of our parents, so my brother and my parents have a home in Arizona and my sister-in-law, her parents have a lake home in Minnesota. So like we both have, or both sides of their kids is have kind of vacation homes to go to with their grandparents. Um, so my brother and his kiddos and family are gonna go down there and they're gonna swim and golf and um, just have a really fun time. I always like going down there to visit my parents. It's just kind of like a nice relaxing vacation where your dad grills and cooks the best food every single day. So that's pretty awesome. I really like this like champagne-y kind of color up here. We're going to use that one on the inner parts of the lids. Um, <laughs> so I hope they have fun. They'll have a really nice time. My mom keeps saying she wants to get everybody to go down there for Thanksgiving. And while in theory, great idea. Get out of the Midwest when it's cold. Um, I don't think <laughs> the idea of four, no, three kids, extra adults, including my grandmother and my aunt and uncle, all in their house for Thanksgiving, it, I just see National Lampoon level craziness go down. Um, so while it would be very fun, I feel that we're just going to have to keep Thanksgiving on the home front for the next little while. All right, I'm going to throw on some liner and some mascara and I'll be right back. Magic, I'm back. Today I'm going to use the Cover Effects Perfector Face Palette because I really like it and it's just everything's all in one. I've been really kind of into not wearing blush lately, but using kind of pinkish highlighters on my cheeks. I don't know why, I just like how it looks. I'm gonna do that again today and use the pink highlighter in here. And it had a fun name, it's called Starlight. But I don't know, I think it looks kind of pretty, right? Well, maybe this one is a little much. I've been using the crown of my canopy from Wet n Wild and it's been looking really good, but maybe this one's a little, I think this one might be a little too much. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little blush, just a little. Oh, well, this guy, mix it in. That looks nice. All right, lips, I'm gonna just grab my tried and true Bottoms Off NYX Sweet Chateau Lip Lingerie. I've been wearing a ton of NYX lip products lately. Um, maybe it's just because they're sitting here and I don't know, but I've been just really digging their nudes and they're, these here, these Candy Slick are so nice and like slippery and they're like an oil almost feeling. Um, I really like these.
they just glide on so nice. I really like these lip colors. All right, my clip is falling and it has been an appropriate amount of time. So I am going to thank you so much for watching me and keeping me company while I got ready today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.